Welcome to Inside the Summit League. Got the tennis championships and the final week in regular season softball coming up, but we start with the golf championships. And it has been an incredible run in the Summit League for Amy Anderson at North Dakota State. Well, the final round of the Summit League championships playing out in North Dakota State. Senior Amy Anderson, another first in her outstanding college career. She shot a final round 74 to win medalist honors again. She is the first Summit League player to win the postseason tournament three times. A three-day total of 223, seven over par for Anderson. All five of NDSU's players finished in the top 20. It's the first Summit League championship in women's golf for North Dakota State. And the Bison prove you can live in Fargo and still be good in golf. You know, over the last four years, Amy Anderson has shown that you can live in a northern climate and have significant and major success uh, at the sport of golf. I think this spring, with uh, five wins now in the season, including the conference championship, in a year when we have not hit a golf ball outside in our home state since last fall, uh, it just shows how this group works to overcome their obstacles. This is the best day as a Bison golfer that I could have ever imagined. and. It ranks right up there in, in my top career moments, probably the best day in golf that I've ever had. Anderson was the only player in the championships with all three rounds under 80, 76, 73, 74 for her. Morgan Fitz of South Dakota State was second with a 234 total. Emily Isaacson of Kansas City had the low round of the final day and even par 72 to finish third. In the team standings, North Dakota State wins it by 11 shots, Kansas City in second, IUPUI and Omaha and Western Illinois in the top five. So North Dakota State advances now to the NCAA tournament. The Bison will play in the West Regional at Stanford University. That tournament runs May 9th through May 11th. Well, our Summit League representative in the NCAA Men's Championships will be Kansas City. The Kangaroos uh, finished first, second, and third in the league tournament as the Roos take the team title. Well, the Kansas City men led start to finish over the three days of the Summit Tournament. The Roos are the league champs for the second time in the last three years. Nathan Hughes shot 71 in the final round. He finished third overall, and the only two ahead of him were his teammates. Antoine Rosner, a freshman from France, was named the newcomer of the championship. He shot 69, 75, 73 to finish it one over. And he was only outdone by Corbin Keene, Kansas City's. Uh, he was the medalist two years ago, the medalist again this year with a final round 69. Feels great. And this is what we worked for all year. And uh, to play this good the last round really felt good. And to win by, I think we won by like 17 or something like that, which we've got so much talent on the team, which is just kind of proved what we can do today. So it was fun. So it is Corbin Keene by a single stroke ahead of Rosner and four shots in front of Nathan Hughes, Nate Davis of Western Illinois, and Bill Carlson of North Dakota State in the top five. Team totals, three University of South Dakota players finished in the top 10. The Coyotes finished second, but 19 shots behind Kansas City and the Jackrabbits in a third place finish on the men's side. We've got the Summer League Tennis Championships when we come back.